sending out water from Mercia. Um, you say there's been a significant reduction in the cost of the police operation. Can you give any indication of a figure of that under a million now? Or? Well, um, yeah, sure, please, okay. The figure that was widely reported last year was 1.4 million. Actually, last year cost 662,000. Yeah. We know it's going to be less than 662,000 this year, and we'll report the exact figure to the next police authority meeting. And presumably, you believe that's still money that's well spent? Mm -hmm. well, the, well, the budget that the police authority make available to me is given to me to protect the public. We will spend that resource where we need to spend it to protect the public. And what's most important is. No one was killed or seriously injured as a result of going to the event this year. You talked about it raising funds for the Hells Angels. Have you any idea of how much money it does actually raise for you? Any figure that I gave you would be pure speculation. And what I'm into is giving you facts and not speculation. So rather than speculate, um, that's something I'm inviting the Hells Angels to do, is perhaps share with us how much money they're making from this and where it goes. Are we talking tens of thousands? Or six I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to speculate. Um, Suffice to say, you can find out how much the tickets are to enter, and the Hells Angels, I understand, are claiming that 23,000 people visited this year, plus, of course, there's fundraising within the site, um, and I guess you could work that out there for an estimate for yourself, but it's not for me to speculate. Will you still be pursuing legal action to try to prevent next year's going Well, our duty is to protect the public. Um, we believe that the event itself brings risk to local people those attending, those travelling to and from the event, and we believe that the money that's generated is used by the organised crime group called the Hells Angels to perpetuate their feud with the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Given it's our duty to protect the public, we will do everything that we can that is lawful and ethical as long as those threats exist to stop Bulldog Bash going ahead. Um, sorry. sorry, I'll just see I mean, you're saying you'll do everything you can to try and stop it. Stratford District Council gave them a 10 year licence two years ago and so far have refused to revoke that licence. This year's passed off peacefully. What makes you hope that Stratford might take the licence off them? We're pleased it's passed off peacefully. In fact, I'd say, rather than pleased, I'm relieved it's gone peacefully and that no one's been seriously hurt. Um, you'll need to ask Stratford District Council about their reasoning. What I know, having seen all of the evidence and all of the intelligence, and I know what we've shared with other people, is that Stratford District Council have decided to apply a particular weight to what we've said, and that's clearly a matter for them and it's within their jurisdiction. What I would say is that other professionals and people that we've shared the intelligence and evidence with, including our police authority, are very clear that this operation was about protecting the public, it was proportionate and it was necessary, and if we need to, we'll do it again. Right, if you're a man on the street and you look at the figures, for your, when the global gathering was on, I think more than a thousand people were searched, nearly half of those were cautioned for carrying drugs. Here, under 500 people ended up being searched despite the size of the operation, and 11 were arrested. You can see why the public sympathy might go on the side of the board. I, I can if you describe it in the way that you have, but the events are very different. The people that we search at Global Gathering, some of them are people who've got enough drugs that we suspect their possession with intent to supply. They're brought to justice, they'll be charged, and no doubt the criminal justice system, if they're found guilty, will deal with them robustly. The vast majority of people who are searched and found to be in possession, perhaps, of drugs are people who have a small amount of drugs with them that they're going to use for personal use. And in line with national policy, we take a proportionate approach to that. An organised crime group generates cash to harm other people. This isn't about people making choices about their own behaviour. This is about generating large amounts of cash that's turned into harm for other people on a global scale. This isn't just about Warwickshire. I can understand why people locally looking at the event in isolation might say it was family orientated and there's been no incidents to speak of and few people who were searched were found in possession of weapons, but some did have weapons and some did have drugs and some people were arrested for robbery. This is about getting out of the Warwickshire context and seeing what the Hells Angels and other motorcycle clubs of this nature are involved in and it's serious harm. Well, I'm not saying we're going to take any of these options, and I'm not saying they're exclusive, but we could appeal the council's decision. We could ask the decision to be judicially reviewed, or we could pursue other criminal or civil 
routes through which we could prevent the bash taking place. Uh, what we'd really like, if we could, is an event for motorcyclists and music fans in our county that's not organised by an organised crime group, brings lots of people here which is good for the local economy, good for the reputation of the county, is safe and we would want to support that the same as we do with other large events in the county in a very inclusive and helpful way. Um, I understand what you're saying about obviously the, the intelligence. Intelligence is the word that you've used a lot to describe what you have to suggest that the event is linked to criminality. But I think the taxpayer will want to know, um, as especially has been mentioned before, that 99% of bikers are not criminal, and that's been acknowledged by the police before. What evidence do you have to suggest that the Hells Angels is linked to that 1% that is criminal? Well, the intelligence is huge, but what I'm going to do is talk about the evidence. Let's have a look at what happened with Jerry Tobin. Let's have a look at what happened in the Birmingham airport riot. And let's have a look at what's happened in other countries worldwide, including Denmark and Australia. The Hells Angels in the UK is a small organisation. It's not thousands of people, it's a few hundred people who are proper, um, fully badged members of the Hells Angels. It is absolutely beyond refute that the organisation and most of its members are involved in some form of criminality and some of that manifests itself as very serious violence and murder. That's evidence that's in the public arena. But I think we've also got a copy of the background brief that we gave um, following the conclusion of the trial for the riot at Birmingham Airport that you can take away again that also sets out much of that background. At every professional bone in my body Every bit of judgment that I can exercise tells me we are dealing with an organisation that is an organised crime group. It isn't just Warwickshire Police. The Police Service nationally, five of the forces recognise them as an organised crime group. Internationally, they recognise an organised crime group. Not every Hells Angel is a criminal. The organisation is. And the profits from Bulldog Bash, if they're going for just good, lawful causes, for needy people, for fundraising, that's fine. Let's have a look at the books. Have you made that clear as well in the books up directly to the organisers? Uh, we, we will be. But we're also, doing it, we're also doing it through you today. Yeah. Can you go down the council room maybe to find out? Or Dana? Or? Um, I mean, what, what steps the council choose to take is a matter for them, but uh, with the police, we do law enforcement. Um, what you do with funds that you generate is of interest if we believe you're involved in organised crime. And it would be very helpful to us if the Hells Angels and Bulldog Bash Limited were able to tell us exactly how much they make and where it goes. And that would satisfy all of us if it's just for good causes.